Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be comparing Kylie Cosmetics with Skin, which is Kim Kardashian's makeup line. They are sisters, they have makeup lines, and we're gonna see what's the tea with each. Now with Skin, it's only lipstick and eyeshadow palettes because she just relaunched it. So we gotta give her some time to build up the collection. But with Kylie's, I bought a little bit of everything, but I also bought her lip products and palettes so we could really get in there and compare the two. I saw Hope Scope do this video. I'll link hers down below. But I had a lot of the makeup and I thought, why not compare it? So I went ahead and ordered a couple more things. Now, just subscribe to my channel, by the way, before you leave. But we just need to jump right in because it's very clear that their products ship from the same distribution center. A big portion of their companies are owned by Cody, which is a massive conglomerate. And I feel like they've really leveled up the brands because I do like a lot of their products now. But they came pretty much in the same box. Ordered their eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks on the same day. And they shipped at the same time and they delivered on the same day to my house. It took between five and six days for it to deliver. They're in cahoots, okay guys? They're working together on their makeup lines. It's probably the same factory creating the makeup if you want me to be honest with you, but I don't have evidence with that. But I do know they're shipping from the same distribution center and they're owned by the same company. So let's see which one's better. These boxes are getting really heavy. Oh my God, my arms. <laughs> I worked out this week, so I'm sore. This palette is $50, and then this palette is $32. One seems a lot smaller than the other, but I feel like we need to get down to the nitty gritty and further our investigation to see which one is best. Let's jump right in. So this is the Skin Palette. Ooh, very, very pretty packaging. Overall, I feel like Skin's packaging is made for millennials and it's more mature, it's more adulty. And then as you can see, everything Kylie does here, it's very pink. Okay, that one tried to jump. But uh, it's very pink, it's very Gen Z-like. Like I feel like she's going for the youth and Kim is going for the adults. This is called the Classic Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Let's open it up. Okay, this palette is $50. It is a pretty standard basic matte eyeshadow palette. I will say the pan size is pretty decent size. I don't love the numbering on the back for the shades. I guess pro makeup artists actually might like this, but for me it's very confusing to flip back and forth and figure out what which shade is which. But this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Besides these palettes looking almost identical, they actually named the palettes the exact same name, which is so strange to me. This is called the Classic Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and so is this one. Why would they name, maybe they're just like, we don't care. So this one's 32, it does have a smaller pan size to it. I mean, but honestly, barely, these are technically a tiny bit smaller, but these are a little bigger, but barely. So you're paying 50, you're paying 32. I mean, they're pretty much the same palette, which is wild to me. Now, you know I'm gonna hold up the Mario one because Kim got so much slack when she came out with this for copying in the Mario palette. I feel like every brand is coming out with these. Patrick Ta has. This is just what's in style right now. So you're going to see a lot of this, but I will say, I mean the pan layout and all. <laughs> It's almost identical. This is Mario's. And you may be like, Mario's looks more like Kylie's. Well, they both actually use the exact same stock palette. It's nice, it's sleek, it's small, it's compact. I like it, but this is the exact same packaging, which is interesting to me that they would do that. Um, okay, let's compare these two to Mario. Mario's is expensive, by the way, the formula. I don't know what lab he uses. So you're getting 12 shades in Mario's palette. You're getting 10 shades in Kylie's palette. I would say Mario's palette is closer to Kim's than Kylie's but you could definitely achieve the same looks with either palette. Mario's palette is 50. Maybe that's where Kim got her price point from, to be honest with you, because they're pretty much the exact same palette. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and prep these eyes. I'm just adding a little bit of concealer because I wanna start with my eyes so we can really get into the deep dive of these palettes to see how similar they are. I will say I've already reviewed the Kim palette on my TikTok, so I don't really remember all the details, but it was, it was a nice palette, you know, but we're gonna jump in. So this side's gonna be my Kylie side. This side's gonna be my skin side, aka Kim side. So we'll start with the Kim side. I'm gonna go in with this medium transition shade right here. I think this is shade 03. And I'm just gonna blend this as my transition shade over here. I do like this nice large me. Oh no. Okay, luckily it fell in the box, so it didn't break, but. <laughs> Woo! But I will say I love an all matte palette. I love doing looks that are all matte. So these are just right up my alley. I know these palettes are really trendy right now. These color stories are. Do you remember in like 2016, 2018, the trend was more so like the warm tones and the coppers and the shimmers and the champagnes. Well, now I feel like we've fallen more into the all matte saga of makeup. So I am building up this transition shade. Now this color, it does build 
hold up nicely. As you can see, the pigment, it blends really nicely. It's like seamlessly blending in. Gorgeous, so I'm gonna take a new makeup brush. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade Natural, which to me looks similar. It does look a little lighter, and we're gonna apply that right here. And this is gonna be our transition shade over here. Okay, so this one, this shade is a little bit lighter than uh, Kim, so I'm, I think I need to tap into a little bit of rust to build it up so I can even out the colors. And we're just gonna blend these in with a small bristly brush. I think both of the mattes in this palette are very blendable. It makes me wonder if they use the same makeup lab. I mean, it would low key be crazy if they did just because the price points are so different. <laughs> so it's like, hmm, what's making them that different? I'm gonna blend a little more rust in. So this eye is looking a little more pinky toned and this eye is looking a little more brown. You see the difference? I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I feel like it's similar to Rust. It's hard to tell. I think this is number six. That is going to bring us way closer to the Kylie shade. And I'm just blending these all over, but we're gonna do a little bit of a lighter matte bone crease to our eye, and it's gonna get make our eyes really, really pop. And then we're gonna do some eyeshadow liner, and it's just really gonna change the game here. This looks so pretty. I will say, with all three, even the Mario palettes, all their mattes are honestly, they're they're so creamy and they do, they're not chalky. I find that they both blend in well. Um, the color stories are different by like this much. So I've had to kind of build up. So we have a similar eye look today, but they're both really pretty. I mean, easy to use palettes cause these colors are all neutral. So it's not too complicated. It's not too complicated. Now I do want to just get a little crazy and deepen it a little more. I gotta use the right brush. So maybe I'll go in with a little bit of cedar here. And I'm just gonna focus that on the outer corner. I do like the names of the shades being right below the shade. I don't think it makes the palette messy looking, but I feel like Kim was trying to go for the, like, like this really clean look with her palette, minimalistic, so she put the numbers on the back. But again, I don't know that I love that per se. I love when I don't have foundation on, I'm doing my eyeshadow because I can blend it out and then clean it up. So switching back brushes, I'm just gonna go in with a little more of this color and I may, oh, I'm scared. I do notice some cool tones in this palette with Kim. <laughs> Like even that's a pretty cool tone right there. Like these two, those are cool. Just to deepen up that outer corner to give us a little bit of a smoke. These looks are looking similar. Not identical, but similar. I am gonna take a little bit of concealer to create our matte base for our lid because if not, it's not gonna show up the way I want it to. So this is a little bit of matte cosmetics concealer, which by the way, if you stay till the end of the video, I will be doing my full face with the Kylie foundation and all of her stuff. I wish I had that to compare with Kim, but she doesn't have that stuff yet, but I think she'll come out with it in due time, honey, in due time. So for the base, I'm gonna take this lightest shade for the Kylie side, it's literally called Base, and it's like a nice, almost has a yellow, yellow, do you see the yellowy? It's like a nice, bone yellowy undertone to it. So we're gonna do it over here. Oh, so this is building up pretty nicely. I saw in Hope Scope's video, she was saying like all of her packages did not arrive at the same time, which was interesting because all of mine did. Like she was saying like her makeup products arrived, you know, like in separate packages or whatever at a later time. And it was, I mean, that's very annoying, but that actually happened to me with Kai, Kylie's clothing line. I ordered the cargo pants with everything else and it just never came in. And then like a month later, Later, it just shows up at my door, a random pair of cargo pants, and I return them, because I was like, uh, I'm good. So I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of rust. We're just gonna soften that edge right there. Wow, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful look? I'm telling you, these mattes are really, really, 32 bucks. She has the best price points between the three palettes, so. Okay, let's go ahead and do the Kim side. I gotta get a different brush. I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade. Now hers, it almost, it looks very similar to the Kylie one, if you can see here, like, but the Kylie one's a little more yellow, and this one has like the slightest bit of a pinkier undertone to it. So we're just gonna pack that on here. I feel like it's building up really nicely. It's not getting hunky chunky or chalky on me at all. Like almost like I would say like 5% more pigmented than this side, but they both work flawlessly. As you can see, the proof is in the pudding. So I'm gonna go back in with this shade right here and I'm just gonna soften the two shades. Okay, as you can see, my two eye looks, they're not identical, but they are so similar. I really don't think you could truly tell a difference. So now let's go ahead and do our liner. I'll go ahead and do the Kim side. We're gonna use her black eyeshadow shade, which let's give it a swatch. Wow. A lot comes off. 
and that is the skin. Let's do the Kylie. Her shade is called Sable. We're gonna get a lot loaded on our finger like that. A lot came off and right beside it. <laughs> and they look the exact same. I really can't tell the difference. So just like I did the skin, so I'm gonna do two swatches. Mm, this again, it might, might be 5% more pigmented or they look the same. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead with a clean brush and go into the skin black. Now, I must say, whenever you're doing your buffed out liner, it does take a little more time, but I just adore the way it looks. So I'm just gonna do small strokes with this brush and we're just gonna wing it out. And now I'm gonna bring it back through right here with the brush. And I like to outline what I got. And then I'll take the rest of the pigment that's on the brush and just start to buff like this. And to me, this is just creates like the softest liner that's a little less harsh than a liquid, but both are great, whatever you wanna do. Sometimes I'll go back over this after I put on lashes with a little bit of liquid to ensure, but I just love the way this looks. It turned out flawlessly with the skin makeup. So I'm gonna get a clean angled brush and we're gonna do the same thing with the Kylie side. Now the black eyeshadows, again, they swatched almost identically to me. It's crazy the price difference though. I will say Kim's palette does have have a couple more shades in it. I think it has two more shades. So we're just gonna wing it out over here, doing the exact same thing. Trying to get these liners even is the real challenge. All right guys, this is our eye look. I really can't tell that much of a difference. If I had to pick a palette, I'd probably pick the Kylie one because it's $32 and you can achieve pretty much all the same looks with it. I think they're both great though. I think the formula is actually extremely, extremely similar. So much so that I could truly not even really tell the difference between formula. They even swatch the same. So that is that on the palettes. Now let's move on. So we have lip products, but I want to do my foundation first. And Kylie obviously has so much more of a lineup with makeup. She's had her makeup line for like eight or nine years now. Let me just say this. I have been using her new foundation non-stop. It is so full coverage. It's more like a satin in between a matte and shiny finish. And for the summertime, I get super shiny. So I'm looking for something a little more satin, a little more matte. And this has been perfect for me. I know it's not summer yet, but it's heating up in California. I'm in shade 4.5 W and we're going to go ahead and just apply this all over. I'm ready for skin to come out with a foundation because I know, I know it would smack. Ugh. This one is so pretty. It's a little tan for me, but it matches my neck and my body. It just blends me out and makes me match perfectly. I also bought the brush and I really like her Kabuki brush. I feel like it is an extremely soft brush, but it has this really nice denseness to it. And I feel like the prices on Kylie's makeup are not bad. I don't know if it's still ColourPop makeup because as you know, the brand started out as ColourPop makeup with a hefty price tag, but she's with Cody now. So I have to wonder if they're using different labs for the product, but this foundation is a banger. And let me tell you, it's got wear time, baby. This stuff will last you for so long. I, whenever I have really long days, like I'm filming the podcast or something like that, I always grab this foundation because I need it to look good for a long time. So this one's more full coverage. I think it has medium coverage, but it very quickly can build up to full, okay? very quickly. She also came out with her concealer. I bought it in a shade too light. I got it in two in. I probably could have bumped down one shade, but it's okay. We're gonna be extra bright. Now for me, this concealer is not an everyday for concealer for me because it is so, 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 so thick. I mean, like it's a liquidy formula, but like the coverage is a little too intense and you will really never hear me say that, but I just don't wear products this like intense on the daily. So we're just gonna blend this in. It does a good job brightening, an extremely good job with coverage, but it does feel pretty heavy like I'm not gonna lie it feels like a heavier concealer it kind of reminds me of maybe hourglass but a little thicker in formula why is there always a hair someone come get me together like it's either a cat hair a fuzz a hair off my head every time I do makeup I think I pull like 10 hairs off my face does anyone else experience that just me I would love for it to be a perfect world on camera but maybe there's little hairs everywhere so I use the tiniest amount of this concealer and I feel like I am super bright and you cannot I mean you can do what you want but I wouldn't go in too heavy hand with this and again this is just not my everyday concealer because it's a little too thick for me baby we are bright it looks really good like it looks super super pretty it's just uh it's heavy it's heavy but i love the foundation i like the concealer i think they're both great they're both very covering products fantastic for that also the foundation brush 
I gotta say is bomb. We're gonna use our glow bombs. These are $20 each on Kylie's website. These are the equivalent of her cream blushes, but you can also use them on the lips. So my favorite shade is actually Pink Me Up. It's this really pretty pink shade. These are nice and pigmented. They're not too, too crazy, but they are buildable. So I have the clear one here, and this one's supposed to just be a gloss. Now I would not put this on my face if I was gonna set my face. I would only use a gloss product like this on the lips, or I would use it if I was just like going to the beach and I just want glowy skin and no powder involved because this is just not gonna mix well with powders. And then I also have the shade Feeling Neutral, which is a little more of a mauve pretty, pretty, pretty blush shade. I kind of want to use Feeling Neutral because last time I did my makeup, I used this color and it's time to switch it up, honey. We need to use them all. So we're gonna use this one. Okay, let's use the Neutral Glow Bomb. I'm gonna take my number five brush from the Lunar Beauty Laura Lee Los Angeles collaboration. And we're just gonna put a little bit of this on. Do you see how they're not crazy pigmented? Like, do you see how it's not like super intense? But they do, they do build up. That's so pretty. So we're just gonna do this side over here. I love this color. I said I love the pink color the best, but now I'm over here like maybe a little this color a little more. <laughs> Gorge! I love my little blushy era. I know y'all remember whenever I would never wear blush. I know you remember that. Okay, now we can officially, I'm gonna bronze it up and set the face. And then I think we need to jump into talking about the skin lips and the Kylie lips. We're gonna deep dive. You guys, I actually bought the Kylash mascara and I forgot. So now we're gonna go use it before we try out the lippies. How did I almost forget? Okay, we have the Kylash really cool packaging and the wand is more, it's not one of those plastic wands, it's one of those bristly wands. It kind of reminds me of the wand of Better Than Sex, but I will say this formula is almost like a drier formula. It's not like liquidy, watery. I feel like the Better Than Sex is really good. It's just kind of watery and can get really messy, whereas this one's not. And with this one, I see it builds more volume. It's almost like a sticky mascara. And I really like that because it's like less messy. So it does what it can do for me. <laughs> also, I noticed it, I've only worn this twice, but the two times I wore it, it did not transfer. So I'm gonna wear it again today, but I haven't had any transferring pro problems with it and I have watery eyes. It's not waterproof, but it did wear very well. I feel like rather than lengthening, it's more volumizing, but I also liked how it's not too liquidy because there's nothing more I hate than a super like watery mascara. And every time you blink, it just goes everywhere. Um, Not this one. This one doesn't do that. So also that one is 22. So kind of a pricier high-end mascara. So first we're gonna do the Kylie Lippie. I got her deal on the website where this is very Gen Z, but it's like the lip liner and then the new lip butter she just came out with. You can get both for 33 bucks at a discounted price. Now the skin products are a little bit different and they cost a lot more. So her lipsticks are 32 and her lip liners are 22 versus this where you can kind of get a deal with both for 30. Two. So I don't know. These are really pricey. Um, but let's review. So first we'll do the Kylie Gen Z lip that she's advertising. What's cool is you get to pick your own lip liner whenever you get the Kylie bundle. So I picked Cappuccino, which is like the prettiest brown ever. So we're just gonna line our lips pretty hefty with this. And then we're gonna apply this lip butter. So this is what it looks like. Came in a tube. She's coming for, who is it? Hailey Bieber? Just kidding. Okay, so this one is just clear. It has a pretty cool little tip. And as you can see, it comes out. It's a nice clear color. So then you just apply this and kind of mix these together and that's like the lip gold. This is super high shine. It's a pretty glassy finish. I like to kind of mix these in here like that, going back and forth. And then we can go back in with a little bit of cappuccino. All right, and this is the Kylie lip gold going right here. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. It's much different from the Kim lip gold that we're about to jump into. So and visualize this for 32, and now we're about to do the more expensive one. This is a $33 lip combo. We're gonna do the skin, which is gonna be a 54 lip combo. Let's try it out. So I got the brown in number nine. Let's see if that looks like cappuccino. This is cappuccino by Kylie. Oh, look at that. Okay, cappuccino is like a kiss more warm, but they pretty much look the same. This is the skin ones that a hair more cooler, but wow. I also bought nude number five from Skin. So this is actually more pinky. This is more cinnamon. This is more like taupey brown. And this, this one's more pinky. This is number five right here. Okay, this is her lipstick shade number five. These are pricey. They also have skinny packaging, which I love because I think it's way more precise whenever you apply it to your lips. So this one is very warm tone, pinky nude. 
really pretty number five and then i bought number four which is even more warm, warm tone so this is five let's put four right here so we can compare wow okay so this one's almost like a salmon peach and this one's like a real i'm gonna use this one this is more of my alley um, and i think i'm gonna use it with the deeper lip liner so this is number nine really pretty brown very creamy just like the kylie if anything, the formula seems the same. Okay guys, what do we think? So now I'm gonna take number five nude. These are pretty matte. Look at that major full coverage. Really went well with that lip liner, really pretty. Mm. Very creamy. It does feel like a luxe lipstick. And this is the lippy that Kim is advertising. This is like the $54 lip combo. What do you guys think in the difference? What do you like better? Glossy, matte, this is a little more mature. And Kim's makeup is just all overall more expensive than Kylie's makeup. However, Kylie is advertising to Gen Z. Therefore, it is a younger group of people. Therefore, they're gonna pay less for their products. Kim is advertising to millennials. So she's advertising to an older audience and therefore they're gonna spend a little more on their luxury makeup. However, despite the packaging, I will say like the brands, like the quality is like, honestly, it's identical. The good news is the quality is good on both brands, but Kim's is just gonna cost you more. Again, her palette does have two more shades in it, but it costs a lot more. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to decide what I would pick. I guess we really just have to pick between lip products. The lip liners blended out identical. So, I mean, I guess Kylie's because it's cheaper, right? The lipsticks, I am obsessed with this matte formula. It's very up my alley. I, they actually had two more shades that are sold out that I would have preferred versus the shades I got. But this shade I would definitely wear over and over again either way. They had like a lighter nude shade, which I wanted for the center of my lips. We can actually apply a little bit of the one I haven't tried to the center, but I normally don't go peachy, like that warm. It's a little too warm for me. Oh, it's pretty though. It's very pretty. I find that... I don't know, peaches and corals, they make your teeth look yellow, so I try to stay away from these, but anyways, identical. It's just like, we're splitting hairs here. I'm giving Kylie more points because of cost, but I know she's charging less because of who she's advertising to, and Kim is like, Miss Girl, we're charging the adults. Also, the setting spray is really nice. This is a matte setting spray, and I will say my skin does not feel dewy and moisturized. It feels more tight when I use this, so if you have super oily skin, you might like this. The setting spray is $27 on Kylie's website. We need to use it because I'm looking extra powder in. I need to melt these powders in. I think this lip is more realistic for me because I tend to go for lips like this and I do that because they last all day. Anytime I get a lip liner and a gloss on, we're good for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna have to kind of re reapply and I can't really count on that to last all day. Although that is very the Gen Z way, like the lip balms, the glosses, and they look so pretty. They definitely make your lips look really plump and gorgeous. By the way, the scent is very vanilla on the lip butter and it's delicious. What if we did Inception and we mix the two? <laughs> You know what? It's pretty. I don't love it. I liked it more matte. We're gonna redo that. <laughs> But anyways, my overall review is you're just gonna pay more for skin and you're pretty much getting the same makeup at Kylie. Now that depends on if they're gonna come out with different products, but as far as where we have it, they literally named their eyeshadow palettes the same name. It's the same thing. And if I had to guess, I would say they're probably coming from the same manufacturer. I don't even know that though, but I do know they are distributing the same. So it's all very interesting. But that's my overall thoughts. I can't wait to see more from skin. Honestly, if I had to pick, like I am a millennial, so maybe that's why, but I do like, her packaging a little better. Um, I think Kylie's is really fun, but for me and my collection, I like packaging like this. Kylie's is all very pink and like Barbie-esque, and so I think it's so freaking cute, but it does have like a kitty usefulness to the packaging and the fonts you. So, you know, Skins is naturally more up my alley, alley, but the quality is there for Kylie's. And honestly, I haven't really tried or talked about or been into Kylie makeup in so many years, but when her new foundation came out, I really kind of got back into it. And I was like, wait a minute, we have something here that I need to talk about. So I've really been enjoying Kylie Cosmetics. By the way, I actually got her new fragrance, the Cosmic, and I did a full review of that on my TikTok. If you guys want to see how it smells and what my thoughts are, check me out on TikTok. <laughs> the plug. But this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Which lip product and palette is the winner? Because that's really what we had to compare today. Let me know what you think. And that's it for today's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys. And I'll see you the next video. Bye guys.